are now ready to connect our client which is Windows 10 to our server computer. The name of our client is accounting. So first we are going to proceed to our file explorer and then right click on this PC. Then choose properties. To connect with our server, click on change settings. Then proceed to change. And then for the member of options or group, let us click on domain and type our forest root domain which is css.edu. And then click OK. Let us type administrator for the username. Then for the password, the one that we created, and then click on OK. So our entering a password is successfully done. So let us click OK. And then our computer will be starting. After restarting, we are now going to log in as accounting in our server. To do that, this will be our screen after restarting. Let us click other user and type the client's name which is accounting. And then let us type the password. Then click this portion or submit. So let us wait. So this is our client's desktop. Let us try to explore. So on our desktop, let us create a file. Sample a new folder then let us name this as creative design for example and then inside the creative design let us put file inside the creative design folder in our creative design folder let us put file so i want to have text document file let us rename this as first and then in our notepad let us see if this text would be appearing or mirrored in our server then let us save close this and then refresh and then let us find out if this creative design folder again replicated in our department redirection folder we are now here in our windows server computer and let us find out if the creative design folder that we created in our windows 10 client computer is replicated in our department redirection folder so let us click on windows explorer and proceed to our local e so this is our department redirection folder and let us open it so accounting is automatically here so meaning our accounting computer or windows 10 computer is successfully connected to our windows server let us open this this is the first user that we connect of course we we configure desktop or its policies so that this desktop folder would be connected to our 
Windows Server. So let us open it. And of course, for the initial opening, we will be seeing this one. So you don't currently have permission to access this folder. Let us just continue. And then click on Security tab. In our security, in our desktop properties dialog box, let us just click continue under security tab. And then, let us click on other user, users or the groups. Then type everyone. Then check names. Then okay. Apply, okay. And then click on okay. And that's it. After configuring the security, let us open again this folder. And that's it. Creative design folder is now present or replicated. This dialog box will be appearing again. So we are just going to click continue and do it again the procedures that we had a while ago so click in so click on security tab and then under security tab let us click continue then click on other users or groups and type everyone then click on check names then okay afterwards let us click on apply okay and then for this we are just clicking okay button so when we are going to open it again click continue and that's it our first file is located here and let us find out the content so and that's it the word congratulations is here the good thing with this redirection folder is that although the client's computer is turned off we could still access the files that the user saved on his or her desktop let's say the client's uh, was damaged we can still recover the files or let's say the accounting computer that particular user the computer has been damaged we can easily get all the files located on the desktop so this setup is very useful in an organization or company that we have nowadays so this server client network setup is very important for the organizations to gather and back up all the files and data in each department that is the idea of having this setup i hope you learned a lot starting from our part one until to this last part